वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स आई प्रोफेसर मयूर एस मोदी टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग विद द इनपरफेक्शंस इन सॉलिड्स और यू कैन से डिफेक्ट इन टू सॉलिड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द इनपरफेक्शन इन टू सॉलिड्स सो सॉलिड इट विल बी डिवाइडिंग इन टू कैटेगरीज amorphous material or you can say atoms in an amorphous solids are arranged randomly so there is no repeated order of your atoms in case of crystalline materials atoms in a crystalline solid are arranged in a repetitive three dimensional pattern long range order so in case of crystalline materials all the atoms it would be perfectly arranged or you can say into the repeated order in case of amorphous material it will be randomly occupying the space into the structure so all the metals are crystalline solids many ceramics are crystalline solids some polymers are crystalline solids see the some of the examples in the crystalline solid it will be the perfect order structure in the case of non crystalline or you can say the amorphous material it will be having a random order structure so some more terminology polymorphism and allotropy of the metals the ability of the material to have more than one structure is called polymorphism so basically it is a behavior of the metal to show the different crystal structures at the certain temperatures or within a temperature range it means what at different temperature material having a different structure and structure is directly related to the properties of the material so different temperature having a different property of the materials the atomic arrangement may be changed according to the change in the temperature such a change in a crystal structure is called as a polymorphic changes assume that the perfect order structure for materials but into real materials it will be the crystalline defects or lattice irregularities so that irregularities present into the structure by the atoms it will be called as a imperfect structure of the materials so that imperfect structure it will be said to be a imperfections into solids so most of the real materials have one or more errors in a perfections with dimensions on a order of an atomic diameter to the many lattice sides so just you can see any deviations from the perfect atomic arrangement in a crystal is said to contains imperfections or defects so there are major four category of the crystalline defects first zero dimensional defects or you can say the point defects occurring in a single lattice point one dimensional defect linear defects or you can also say the dislocations occurring along a row of a atoms two dimensional defects or you can say the planar defect or surface defects occurring over a two dimensional surface in the crystal three dimensional defects or you can say the volume defects bulk void defects so defects influences the electrical and the mechanical properties of the solid by adding alloying element to a metal in one way to introducing a crystal defects so crystal imperfection have a strong influences upon many properties of the crystals such as strength electrical conductivity and hysteresis losses of the ferromagnetisms of the materials the some important properties of the crystals are controlled by as much as by imperfections and by the nature of the host crystals crystal defects and its classifications so based on to the point defects or you can say the zero dimensional defects vacancy kind of point defects short key kind of point defects self interstitial kind of point defects frankel kind of point defects in case of line defects or you can say also a dislocation kind of defects so edge dislocations screw dislocations 
surface defects grain boundaries defect tilt boundary defects twin boundary defects stocking fault kind of defects volume defects inclusions whites a solid solution solid solution means one metal a that will be dissolves into the b so one metal that will be dissolved into the another metals and it forms the new materials suppose the edited atoms that will be from the materials it will be called as a solute metal atoms so solute metal atoms it will be occupying the space into the solvent structure of the materials and to form the new materials and that new materials it will be said to be a solid solution so as per the definitions a solid solution is a solid state solution of one or more solutes into a solvent such a mixture is considered as a solution rather than a compound when the crystal structure of the solvent remains unchanged by the addition of the solutes and when mixture remains in a single homogeneous phase so single homogeneous phase means it will be mix a single solid materials so let us see the sum of the examples the first figure indicating the perfect structure so you can considering it will be the solvent structure if there is a some alloying element will be added into the structure so it will be changing the new structure so new arrangement you can find so that new arrangement from the previous one that will be representing as a imperfections into structures if it will be having a same size of atoms as we discussed for the solute and solvent so that will be called as a substitutional kind of solid solutions if it will be the size is different for the solute and solvent so that will becoming a interstitial kind of solid solutions if the solute member having a smaller size so that will be representing into the third figure small solute atoms if the solute atoms it will be having a larger size so you can see that large solute atoms so if it will be having a smaller size of the solute it will be making a interstitial solid solution if it will be having a same size so that will be making a substitutional kind of solid solutions most important theory into the imperfections into solids and that will be your nuclei and the growth of a nuclei so in the case of solidification process result of casting of the molten materials it will be having a two steps nuclei formation and the nuclei grow to form the crystals and grain structure you can see the initial positioning all the metal alloys that will be having a higher temperature into the liquid state then you can carry out the solidification process so temperature drop down and some of the temperature like the higher melting point of the metals it will be considering as a starting point of the solidification in the case of binary alloy so at initial state the nuclei formation nuclei is nothing but the solid solid tiny particles of either metal a or either metal b or you can say one of the metal it will be having a solid tiny particles and it will be representing by the nuclei after certain time of solidification process that nuclei having a growth and finally it will be converting into grain structures so crystals grow until they meet each other so finally one nuclei will be meet with the neighborhood nuclei and that neighborhood nuclei will be meet with their own neighborhood nuclei and it will be making a grain structures so one grain size it will be differ from the another grains and that will be separated by the grain boundaries so finally you can get the structures in the form of grains and grain boundary so start with a molten material all are liquids polycrystalline what is it? just you can see the structures so grain boundaries the region between the crystals transition from one from lattice of the one region to that of the others slightly disorders low density into grain boundaries so low density it will be for the high mobility of the atoms high diffusivity and high chemical reactivity so here just you can see the one grain size it will be differ from the another grain size with respect to the number of atoms it will be present its direction its basic structures and occupying the space into the grains 
so each and every grains it will be having a different angles so it will be representing over here small angle grain boundaries high angle grain boundaries angle of the misalignments so some of the defects it will be present into the grains and grains boundaries so that will be the representation of the polycrystalline materials so finally into the solidification process your liquid of your binary solid solution materials it will be having a final structure in the form of grains and grain boundaries so start with the defects or you can say the imperfections the point defects the point defects are where an atom is missing or is in an regular space into the lattice structure suppose in the perfect order structure one of the atoms it will be permanently leaving their own positioning from the structures and it will be generating the vacancy so vacancies this is especially true at high temperatures when atoms are frequently and randomly change their positions leaving behind atoms lattice sites it's called a vacancy or you can see by different authors vacancies are empty space where an atom should be but is missing the higher is a temperature more often atoms are jumping from one equilibrium position to an another and large number of vacancy can be found into the crystals so interstitials or you can say the atoms that are squeezed in between regular lattice sites if the interstitial atoms is of the same species as a lattice atoms is called as a self interstitial so here you are discussing with the vacancy kind of point defect from the figure you can see that one atoms it will be missing their own positions from the structures and it will be out of the structure so by leaving their positions it will be generating the vacancy to such kind of defects it will be present into the materials it will be called as a vacancy kind of point defects present into the structures second one self interstitial so a one extra atoms it will be positioning in between perfect order structures says so from the figure shows that one extra atoms it will be occupying the space into the perfect order structure and it will be also making a defects or you can say the imperfections into perfect order structure so that will be representing as a imperfections into solids and by the addition of the one extra atoms it will be called as a self interstitial kind of point defects so in case of vacancy atoms are moving their leaving their own positions and in case of self interstitial one extra atoms it will be added into the structure so by leaving their positions and by additions it always make the imperfections into structures and that imperfection it will be said to be a imperfection or you can say the defects short key defects is a type of vacancy in which an atoms being free from regular site migrates through a successive steps and eventually settles at the crystal surface a pair of anion and cation vacancies as shown in the figure one positive ion and one negative ion so it will be leaving their own positions and it will be occupying the new positions at your boundary region so always it will be in the pair of positive and negative ions from the structures so that will be called as a short key kind of imperfections or defects a frankel defects is a pair of cation or you can see the positive ions vacancy and a cation interstitial or it may be also be an negative ions vacancy or anion interstitial or you can say that the combination of vacancy and interstitial is called a frankel defects so three definitions for frankel defects let's see with the some of the examples here is the perfect structure of nacl so now you can see one positive and one negative it will be leaving their own position from the structures and it will be occupying the new positions in between structures so by the leaving their own positions it will be generating the vacancy kind of point defects and by occupying the new space into the structures so that will be the interstitial kind of point defects so you can see that it will be the combination of vacancy and interstitial kind of point defects and that will be your frankel defects line defects or you can say the dislocations 
in linear defects group of the atoms are in a regular irregular positions linear defects are commonly called as a dislocations any deviation from the perfect periodic arrangement of the atoms along a line is called the line imperfections so the line imperfection acting as a boundary between the slipped and unslipped regions lies in the slip plane is called a dislocations this dislocations are generated and moved when a stress is applied the strength and the ductility of the metals are controlled by the dislocations so there are extremely two types of dislocations edge dislocations and screw dislocations let's see with the edge dislocations from the figure the above portion it will be having a perfect structure and below portion it will be having a perfect structure so one extra line of the atoms it will be into the structure it will be addition of the one extra line of the atoms and so it will be dividing into two part slip region so above portion and below portion or you can say slip region and unslip regions so after applying the stress or you can see the shear stresses that line of the atoms it will be moving into the structure let's see with the another figures here it will be the one extra line of the atoms a that will be added into the structure and it will be having a line kind of dislocations so above portion from the slip lines it will be a slip region and unslip regions so after applying the shear stress from the both the end on your slip and unslip regions that extra line of the atoms a it will be try to jumping over a b and try to jump jumping over a c and finally you can see that it will be a one of the edge of the structures that's why it will be called as a edge kind of dislocations you can see that if the one extra line of the atoms it will be added into the top positions that will be considering as a positive edge dislocations if it will be fine at the bottom of the structure so it will be called as a negative edge dislocations screw dislocations so just you can apply if the edge dislocation it will be present into the structures and you can apply the torsional effect so it will be moving in like into the figures so basically burgers factor that will be the distance it will be measured from one atom to another atoms if the line dislocations it will be the present so in case of edge dislocation it will be the perpendicular to the dislocation line in case of screw dislocations it will be the parallel to the dislocations line if the both are present or you can say your component it will be subject to the torsional as well as your shear stress so it will be having a mixed kind of dislocations planar defects into the solids suppose the top surface of your structure it will be get damaged at certain angle so that boundary it will be twin boundary kind of defects you can see into the structures the essentially a uh, reflection of the atoms positions across the twinning plane stocking foil kind of defect for a perfect structure it will be having a a b c a b c kind of sequence but if you find a b c a b c and b c so there is a certain rearrangement of the layers of your a b c and it will be called as a stocking foil kind of defects most important theory difference between the edge dislocations and screw dislocations by the definitions in the case of edge dislocation a form of a line defect in a crystal lattice in which the defects occurs either due to the presence of an extra plane of atoms or due to the loss of a half of the plane of the atoms in the middle of the lattice as from the definition the screw dislocation a form of a line defects in which the defects occurs when the planes of the atoms in the crystal lattice trace a helical path or you can say torsional stresses or you can say spherical load path around the dislocations line outcome of gram standing in case of edge dislocation when we apply 
स्ट्रेस ऑन अ क्रिस्टल हैविंग अ एज डिसलोकेशन द डिसलोकेशन एरिया मूव्स पैरल टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रेसिस इन केस ऑफ स्क्रू डिसलोकेशन वेन वी अप्लाई द स्ट्रेस ऑन अ क्रिस्टल हैविंग दिस डिफेक्ट द डिसलोकेशन एरिया मूव्स परपेंडिकुलर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द स्ट्रेसिस स्ट्रेसिस इन केस ऑफ एज डिसलोकेशन स्ट्रेस इज कंपेरेटिवली लेस कॉम्प्लेक्स इन केस ऑफ स्क्रू डिसलोकेशन स्ट्रेस इज कंपेरेटिवली कॉम्प्लेक्स सो दैट विल बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एज डिसलोकेशन एंड स्क्रू डिसलोकेशन